Hi guys, I'm Anne. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anne. I make videos when I can. <laughs> um, and if you're not new to my channel and been here for a while, thank you. Hi, it's me again. And today I'm gonna do a collective haul plus reviews because I know you guys ask me all the time on Instagram, hey, where'd you get this? Where'd you get that? So like, I thought I'd just do like a whole video about it. Yeah, let's get right into it. These are like stuff that I accumulated like uh, like last month, my birthday, this month, I think. Yeah, because I have been buying some necessary things that I might need for when I travel or like for school. So yeah, I have a bunch of stuff that I want to show you guys. And hopefully I make helpful reviews for you guys so you guys know what to buy or what not to buy. So yeah, let's start. Okay. Okay, so first off, this isn't really that new. I know it is kind of new because I bought in January, but they look kind of used already. These are my uh, Fila Ray Tracers, and I get asked about them a lot. It's like, hey, where'd you get your sneakers? Where'd you buy it? Uh, how much? And I got this at the Fila store at Glorietta, and I got it for 3000 3500 3, I think. So yeah. Yeah, and they're pretty comfy. They're not so expensive, so like, I wanted to put them in the video. And they're really comfortable. Uh, they're like the bad shoe trend, and I really like them, but um, I wear them a lot, so they're dirty now. But i um, definitely gonna clean them, but yeah, 10 out of 10, I would recommend this because it is very, very comfortable. It goes with anything. You can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with pants, with skirt, and like, it will look good, so... This is definitely a staple in my shoe closet. So. Next up is this Charles and Keith bag that I recently got, and I got it for a reason. It can be a sling bag. It can be a sling bag. It can also be a backpack. So I feel like it'd be really useful because sometimes I get tired of like carrying sling bags. I'm really a backpack person. But sometimes I need to look like a little bit more sophisticated than I usually am with like backpacks. So you can turn it into a sling bag, no problem. And you don't have to like change like the clips. So I don't like those bags where you like it's dual as well. Like you can use it as a backpack and a purse, but you like have to clip them all over again. And like this one, you just like pull it, you pull this one out, and then yeah, you can use it however you like it. And I like it because it's pretty spacey inside there's like a lot of things to put your shit in there's another pocket right here this just has my passport and it's like some earphones in here but like when i pack something in this bag this is usually just like full of shit like literally there's like no space it's like airtight in there and i sometimes even like bring my instax camera my lomo instant camera and like a bunch of stuff that i need to survive my daily life so really useful Okay, next up is something that I just, honestly just, I bought this today because like, I wanted something that can fit my iPad in because I recently got the new iPad Pro for my birthday. Thank you parents, you guys are the realest. And um, yeah, I got this backpack so my iPad just like fits in here nicely. This is actually a kid's backpack from Herschel. I got it for um, 2490 and um, I can just put my iPad in here like this and it comes in yeah there you go so you could just yeah just close that and close this and then my iPad's in there and it's not so bulky because it's like a kid's backpack so it's like really small it has the soft uh straps on the back so like your back doesn't hurt when it's like fully loaded in there and it also has like a soft uh bubble back for like i guess for carrying gadgets as well so it doesn't hurt your back and yeah i'm really happy with this purchase because i can bring my ipad no problem now to school and i feel safe because i just use like my canvas bag to bring my ipad and my boyfriend doesn't think it's that safe to bring something so expensive and <laughs> a canvas bag Next up is my iPad. I wanted to talk about this because this has been like my biggest, I guess, gift this year that I received for my birthday. And it's just the iPad Pro 2019. Is it 2019 or 2018? I'm not sure, but I got it 2019. So 
Um, this is the iPad Pro second generation and it doesn't have the home button which was uh, a really nice thing because now it's just all screen and I mean it's not all screen it still has these borders uh, but I really like it. I don't have an Apple Pencil yet so I can't use it fully because uh, we're in the Philippines and we don't have Apple Pencils somehow like I can't seem to find one in any Apple store so um, yeah I have been using this for school sometimes I just type things in class while I'm in class and like I just use this case because this case is the magnetized case so you could just like pull it off and then attach it and, and it attaches no problem and your iPad doesn't drop like look at that I'm shaking it still not dropping so it's really safe and I really like it and it's really compact and I just like bringing it to school so hopefully when I get an Apple Pencil, I get to use this more, but I really love it. I think Apple really has stepped up with this. I just hate the fact that it's still an iPad. It's not like having a MacBook. It's not like having a like a full functioning laptop because it's still an iPad. It's still just an iPad. So yeah, I mean, I do like it. I do like it. I would not recommend buying it uh, in your placement for a laptop because if uh, if you're like looking for something in the market that could like be a laptop and a tablet at the same time, I don't think this is your best bet. Uh, I do know that uh, some Android companies produce like one of those like really nice tablet laptop thingies and it comes with like a pen as well. So I think that would be the best option. But yeah, I don't hate it. I love it. Uh, I like watching YouTube videos on it and YouTube. What? I like watching YouTube videos on it and Netflix. So yeah, there you go. I really love it. This is my baby now. <laughs> I have one clothing favorite and it's this Uniqlo cardigan, long cardigan coat thing. And it has like a hood on it. And I got it at Uniqlo for like 500 bucks because basically it's not even on the display anymore. I was just looking for a coat like this and they were like, oh yeah, we have something at the back but it has like a hole on it. So they didn't want to sell it to me at first because it has a hole in it. But she was like, your choice if you want to buy it. And I'm like, it's a tiny hole. I would like to buy it, please. Thank you. Because it's like 500 bucks and I'm like really comfy in this. I feel snug as a bug when I'm wearing it. Oh, hi. It's really comfy. I like it for when I travel because sometimes we go for like long drives and like I just stay stuck in the car and <laughs> I get really cold easily so I like to bring this and sometimes Ian wears it because it's really big. I got it in the XL size so yeah I feel like it's really handy to have a jacket like this and you can just turn it into a blanket, like a big fluffy blanket. Let's do makeup now and skincare because I bought like, they're not really that recent but like I've had them for a while and I don't think I've gave, I've given them like proper, proper review on my channel and I would really like to because I have been using them non-stop. So let's start with this Celebo um, Super Glam Sleeping Mask. Um, Diane saw this at the beauty bar and she was like, yo, check this out. It's like a really nice moisturizer mask. So I was like, okay. So I put it on my hand and it was so nice. Like the texture is so nice and it makes your skin feel so plump and soft after. So I really like using this as a makeup primer as well. I actually used it for this look. And then you just put this at night, just like put like a little swirly on your hand and then like smooth it out on your face and then blend it in and then you just wash it out the next morning and after you wash your face off it just feels like so tight and plump and soft at the same time so I really recommend this uh, if you have a beauty bar near you I think it's around 800 pesos it's a bit pricey but I feel like it is an investment to have great skin you know uh, I wanted to give this Roman Romand? I don't I still don't know how to like pronounce it properly. <laughs> but their Instagram says Romand U, so this are their like these are their lipsticks and I got the shade. Uh, I think this is one is All That Jazz and this is Envy Me because like the names are Korean under but I do remember my order when I ordered it. I got it from Shopee. I got it from a cheaper price because they were selling this at Beauty m and and I think they were selling it for 200 pesos more so I was like I want to buy two so like I just got it for uh, from Shopee for 500 pesos so it was great. And this one is just like a really peachy pink color and Vimi. Uh, this one, all that jazz, is kind of like a burnt, kind of brickish red color, which is really in right now. And I really like it. And 
Sometimes I just layer this, I put this on first and then I put this at like the inner part of my lips like what I did now, it's kind of like an ombre lip kind of thing. Yeah, I really like these two, they feel like nothing on my lips. I guess that's why they're called the Zero Gram lipstick because they don't, don't feel like anything on your lips so it literally feels like you're wearing nothing. And yeah, I really like the formula and I really love their packaging so yeah, definitely recommend. Another lip product that I would really like to recommend is a lip tint. I kind of use this as blush as well, but it's it's the Lily by Red Mood Liar Velvet Tint, and this one is in the shade, shit, I don't know, everything is in Korean, but this one's like the burnt orange one, and this one is like a really deep berry shade one, and I really like the formula of this one. It's kind of like the... The formula of this is kind of like the Peri Para Ink Velvet Lipsticks. And they kind of just glide on your lips and stays there for a while. And they don't really fade that quick. But I guess this is also something that you have to reapply if you're gonna eat out. Because it is kind of velvety. It's kind of like a moussey feeling on your lips. It's not really a tint that's like really thin applies like water on your lips it's more like uh, this uh, feeling so when you blend it in kind of turns into like a cream and that's how they look like and this is the orange one and this is like the red brick one and I really love them I really like these colors I've been really into like burnt orange shades for my lips lately so yeah I have been such a fan of these lipsticks but now I can't remove them look at them they're like not doing anything they're just there so like sometimes I like to use them on my cheeks because I do like the color that it gives and yeah I got these from Shopee as well Shopee is my best friend and yeah I got these for like I think 500 each as well so I think that's cheaper because some stores really sell it, sell it for like 700 800 sometimes so I think this is a good deal and yeah, I really recommend investing on good lipsticks. <laughs> okay, so another lipstick that I would like to give a shout out and review to is the MAC Powder Kiss Devoted to Chili. I waited for this product to launch here in the Philippines since they launched it first in Korea because this is like a Korean MAC product. And basically, this is like the Devoted Plus Chili shade. So it looks like this. It's like a very brick red color. It's this color, but it's like super matte. It doesn't feel like it's drying. That's why I think that's why it's called like the powder kiss. Because it kind of just feels like powder. It doesn't feel like anything. Like, look at that. I really like the color because like you can just make it as light as this or you like you can layer it to make it look this dark. I really like the formula of this product as well. And I really like that the packaging is matte because the normal bullet lipsticks are like uh, glossy and this one's just like matte. Like that makes sense because the lipstick is matte so I really like the packaging and how it feels on my lips it doesn't feel so heavy on my lips it's definitely not comparable to this because this one feels like nothing on your lips but this one feels like the lipstick like just seeps through the bright deepness into your lips that so it doesn't like chap your lips or anything or it doesn't like accentuate like the lines on your lips so I really like this Totally recommend as well. Uh, Ian gave me this eyeshadow for my birthday and it's the Happy Skin All Eyes on Hue eyeshadow palette honeymoon glow edition. And oh my god, dropped the little plastic film. And I really like this. This is literally all that I'm using on my eyes right now. So I put this as the base. This one on the outer corner, this one on the inner corner, because this is like the really uh shimmery shade, and this one's like for the eyeliner. So they just have four uh, shades on it. And I think it's really nice because if you're like a person who goes to school every day and like you need to do your makeup and you know you want to look good for class. So this is really easy because it tells you like the steps of how to put it on your eyes as well. And what color to use on which side of your eye to, use, to put it on. And yeah, I think it's really nice. It's really compact. It's really thin, really tiny. And yeah, I feel like this just makes getting ready for me really easy because I don't have to grab like a bunch of palettes to get ready. I just go for this one. Okay, next up is my Chanel number no. 5. I really love this scent. Uh, it's kind of like a... I put that on my lip. <laughs> it's kind of like a really mature floral scent, which what I want to perpetuate and exude that I'm mature, but I smell like flowers. 
uh, when I go out because uh, the Chanel number no. five, the normal one, kind of smells too mature for me. So I went for the Lou one because this one's like a bit lighter. And I really like the packaging because it's Chanel and I really like how it looks like on my desk. I just keep it there. And yeah, I really like it for school. So if you guys are looking for like a really light perfume that's like, you can use it every day, but it's not like baby perfume kind of scent, that's your best friend. I have like a list here, so I keep on looking at what's on my list. I don't want to miss anything. I want to make sure that everything is in order. Um, okay, so glasses. I got these glasses from Sunny's. I got this case. And Ian and I both got new glasses because I have the plastic one and I kind of wanted something sturdier, so I went for the metal one. And I just really like this one. I feel like I look the best with like round shaped glasses. And um, Ian also got me the, the Sunnies from Sunny Studios. It's called a Lyle Sepia. And I just really like this for going out. It just makes me look like a real cool person. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just really like it. I feel like I feel like I'm a really serious person and everyone would take me seriously when I wear these glasses. <laughs> so yeah. And I really like I like that it has like a really strong tint in them because sometimes I really don't want to fuck with the sun so yeah it helps you know block out some bullshit <laughs> um oh my god <laughs> anyway I thought the bird hit the wall <laughs> I was so scared <laughs> I wanted to talk about this lip balm this is like a really cheap lip balm from um healthy option it's the all good lips coconut certified organic lip balm and I feel like I've used this so much that the tip is not even like a flat circle anymore because I kind of just like go around my lips and I like it because it tastes really good it's very coconutty and I really don't like I do love my glossy lip balm but I kind of don't like putting it on my fingers and then applying it on my lips because I don't want to put the tube on my lips because like when people ask me for lip balm, they, you know, it's like, I kind of want to be sanitary about it. So this one's just for me. I got Ian one as well. His has the SPF one. This one didn't because I thought they both had SPF on it. And apparently his is the only one that has the SPF. I've been trying to switch lip balms with him. So far, I have not succeeded. So um, this is what I have. And I really love it though. I feel like I put SPF on my face anyway. You know, gotta take care of your lips too. But this one's really nice and... I don't know, I just like the taste of coconut on my lips, so. Also, I wanted to talk about this um, headache helper that I got from the Frankie and Friends journal store from SM Aura. It's a rollerball, and you kind of just like rub it on your temples when you have a headache. And I don't know what's in this thing. It smells really herbally, minty. Um, it's from Luna Maya PH. I'm gonna try and put their Instagram down below so you guys can check them out. Um, not sponsored, but I just really like their product and it just really gets rid of the headache. I don't know what's about it that gets rid of the headache, but it really helps. Like this has been my Tita product of the month lately because every time it's like your head hurts, like put it, put it on all over your head and just like, and people would be like, oh yeah, that really works. It's really good. Even my dad really liked this. So I'm thinking of like getting him like a tiny one for his car. So whenever he drives and he feels like his headaches, just, he can just like rub it all over his forehead. So yeah. And I really like the packaging. Come on. It's really nice and it looks really bougie. Go visit them at SM Aura if you have the time or you can check out their online store. So next up is this hand cream from Neutrogena. I got this from I got this from Landers and it's basically a really tiny hand cream. And I like this because you just put like a tiny bit of it and your hand won't feel sticky because I hate like having sticky hands. This one doesn't give you sticky hands. This one is kind of like a balm hand cream it just comes out clear so it just looks like that i don't know if you can see that but like it just comes out clear and you just like rub it on your hands and it's not gonna feel sweaty it's just gonna feel moisturized you know it's not sticky it's not slippery as well they're just like your hands they're yeah and it doesn't have like a strong scent to it it just smells really clean and yeah that's it for the 100 peso hand cream from neutrogena and it's this tiny so you can put it in your bag just anytime you know like put it in your pocket even if you need it a lot oh i wanted to talk about this painting for a while because uh, i got this from ian's dad's magazine and i really like it so i 
torn off. Well, it's actually torn off already, so I, I asked if I could have it, and he said I can. So I bought the frame for it, and it's been like my favorite piece in my room because it's Henry, you know? <laughs> he just has to be up here. And I really like it. It's really my vibe. I like this painting. Okay, and last but not the least, my friend got me this Wild Rose Beauty Balm from Neil's Yard. And actually, I was supposed to pay for it, but she said she's just like gonna give it to me for my birthday. So thank you, Jasmine, for that. And I just really like the packaging. I like keeping it in my bag because sometimes I use it as a hand balm or like for my cuticles when they're feeling like a little bit weird or... Sometimes I even use it as a makeup remover because it's technically a balm so it could be like a, a balm cleansing oil for your face and it really removes like everything as well and it's really organic. It smells, it smells very organic, you know, it smells very healthy and um, I use this on my face as well. He uses it as a moisturizer. You can use it for your like uh, elbows when they're feeling dry, knees if you want to put them on your knees, sure, go ahead. Yeah, and I feel like I like a good multi-use product, you know? I really like having this <laughs> in my life. And also, it comes with... Hold on. <laughs> a handkerchief. And it's kind of just like the cloth for babies when they have like a cold or something. And I really like it because you can use it to wash your makeup off. You could just wipe with this and you can exfoliate your face with this as well because I guess when you use this as a balm, you use this towel to like wipe it all off and like everything would just stick to this. And you can just wash it because it's very washable. The threads, you can see through it. It's very useful because you can wash it all over and over again and it will remain the same looking like this. And yeah, it comes with this. It's just like a small pot, but I really haven't gotten to using it. I will try and like use it more, but yeah, I really like this product for my hands and my uh, cuticles. Yeah, so um, I also want to thank you guys for greeting me on my birthday. I really appreciate it. I really love it when you guys like hit me up uh, through the day and you guys are like, I miss your vlogs and I know I haven't been uploading that much but I really am trying this time um, I'm not trying hard enough obviously but I will try hard enough this time and um, yeah thank you for like being nice to me all the time you guys sometimes make my day uh, on Instagram because sometimes some of you would just like send me like a really nice message and it really means a lot to me and I really get killing from those messages because I am a softie I am a really hardcore softie, so yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. Hi, this is Editing Anne. Apparently my video didn't end properly, so I would just like to say thank you again to you guys for like continuing your like support for my channel. To those people who still watches my YouTube videos even though I don't upload regularly, thank you, thank you very much. And yeah, that's it. I am really happy right now. I'm really gonna try and make more YouTube videos since I am in a really good state mental, mental, mentally so yeah hopefully I'll be uploading more often now yeah and yeah that's it guys I will see you oh my god I will see you next time for, with another new video bye